Hey guys, today's video is going to be brought to you by Suave Naturals Conditioner. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are probably familiar with this stuff, at least uh, the, the coconut variety. This is immensely popular in the curly haired community, uh, particularly as a co-wash conditioner because it's uh, very cheap and possibly as a rinse out as well because it has excellent slip. And this stuff with the coconut ingredients is mildly moisturizing. Um, I was using this for a while as my co-wash and, and rinse out and um, then we started having problems. Uh, if you have watched my videos, my product reviews, you know I am typically not one to judge a product by the way it smells, but one day I was using this to co-wash my hair and all of a sudden the smell just started to make my stomach turn and basically I can't stomach it anymore. Uh, it has a coconut smell, but it's you know a very sweet coconut smell. It's not really natural and it can be um, I found it to be kind of cloying all of a sudden. It's not what I would call heavy, but it just kind of made me sick. In addition to that, uh, this particular variety also contains proteins. It has um, silk amino acids in it, which um, can be problematic for those of us with curly hair. Some curly hair does not take well to protein, and so it, it, the protein can leave the hair really dry. And you know, if you have protein sensitivity, this could be problematic. In addition to having the protein, it also has honey listed, which is very moisturizing, but it's a humectant, which means that it pulls moisture in from the outside atmosphere and locks it in, and that can also be kind of a doozy on curly hair, depending on the weather. So, uh, what I wanted to do was explore the rest of the Suave Naturals line and talk to you guys about my experiences with each one. So this is probably going to be a two-part video. I have so many conditioners to share with you today and then I have a few more to try out and I will be doing a second video on those. And I just wanted to again talk to you about my experience with using each one. I was using them primarily as co-wash conditioners and also a little bit as rinse out because as I said this stuff has pretty good slips. So number one, the first thing that I can say about all the varieties that I tried is that they have a pretty darn good slip, um, decent slip anyway. So if you're looking for something to help you tangle your hair this is a good way to go and they're all very cheap um, the most I have seen for a bottle of Suave for the family size the bigger bottle has been about two dollars and twenty five cents so not expensive at all and the rest of these that I have to share with you are also protein free so if you have any difficulties with protein uh, you should be okay now the first uh, non-coconut variety that I tried was the mango mandarin here which I got at uh, my local grocery store. It's not a variety that I have seen everywhere but I have been able to find it. And this is uh, infused with mango extracts and vitamin E. In fact all of these have vitamin E in them which is excellent for your hair. And uh, the very first thing that I noticed when I used this was that it came out of the bottle a little bit chunky and I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I've since given it a little bit of a shake and it seems to have helped a bit so I'm thinking it was just, I don't know, sitting for a while and that's the only variety of this that I've really noticed that with so I'm thinking it was just the bottle but that was the very first thing I noticed and um, again the slip is pretty good I use this to co-wash my hair after doing a scalp massage so this area up in here was a complete rat's nest from me going in and around and around and around in circles and whatnot so I just um, make sure made sure to really coat my hair with the stuff and kind of let it sit for a few minutes to help help it work into all the little itty bitty tangles because that's what my hair was full of like little single hair tangles and um, it was fine I let it sit for a few minutes and I was able to detangle without uh, any major difficulty and then the smell is not overpowering at all it does have a citrusy fruity kind of scent um, it's not really among my favorites scent wise but I didn't have any issues with it kind of upsetting me like the coconut did. It didn't make me feel sick or anything. That is the problem I was having with the coconut. It's it's not bad at all. And this also has aloe extract in it, in addition to the mango. And then there's mandarin orange peel oil in here. So at least the scent is from something natural, I believe. And, um, and just the aloe, which is also uh, lightly moisturizing. But that, I believe, is a humectant too. So if you have difficulties with humectants, uh, you might want to keep that in mind when using this one. Now, the second one that I tried is this one. This is new, and I'm seeing it uh, all over the place, promoted on special shelves and whatnot. This is the Everlasting Sunshine. That's what they call it. And it is infused with passion flower and vanilla extract. So that is uh, what it smells like. I wasn't really sure about it at first. Um, when I saw the passion flower, like passion fruit and whatnot isn't really my kind of thing, like a very tropical 
sort of set, but I was rather pleasantly surprised by this. Um, I didn't have the issues with chunking that I had with the Mango Mandarin. And again, the slip is fine on it. Um, now when you smell this, it has kind of a, a floral smell mixed with vanilla. There's a definite vanilla note in here. Um, and I know vanilla, either you absolutely love it or you absolutely hate it. And vanilla all too often can be a very sticky, heavy, overpowering scent. I did not uh, think that with this. It just has enough of a hint in it to make it sweet, but it's not, again, like a sickly sweet smell like I ran into with the coconut. Um, and I, again, I wasn't sure about liking the passion flower scent, but after I use this on my hair, um, I caught the scents lingering in my hair, by the way. Um, the Suave Naturals fragrances I've noticed tend to linger in my hair. And it smelled more like vanilla than I did the flower, which I was fine with because, again, I wasn't big on the, uh, the passion flower. And this contains um, vanilla fruit extracts, the passion flower extract, and then you terp. Euterpe oleracea, oleracea fruit oil. I'm sorry, I've never taken Latin. Um, no idea what that is, so I'll look it up and probably put it somewhere in here. So I was pleasantly surprised by this one. Up third is the strawberry. What exactly do they call it? Sun ripened strawberry. And it is infused with strawberry extract and vitamin E. Again, the vitamin E is making an appearance. Uh, again, good slip. The smell was not overpowering at all. It's very pleasant. And this just has the strawberry extract in it in terms of um, natural additives. And this, again, um, all the ones I've shown you so far are available in the family size, which is 22 and a half ounces, which is a little bigger, which is great for co-washing because you typically need a lot. And um, this, let's see, I think the ones that I'm, this one that I'm showing you right now, as well as the... Um, the Everlasting Sunshine. I got at Walmart for, what are they there? Um, probably $1.50. Um, so very inexpensive. And again, it's a good size. They call it a family size. Most of these varieties I think are, I found in the family size, 22 and a half ounces, which will last you a pretty good while. And so, I mean, nothing really remarkable about this. Um, I didn't have any issues with any of the ingredients. I thought it smelled very nice. It didn't, again, make me feel sick like the coconut one did. And, um, I think that's about it. This is just strawberry. quite like this one. This is actually among uh, my favorites, I think, fragrance-wise. Another one of my favorites, this is the Cherry Blossom one. Wild Cherry Blossom, infused with Cherry Blossom Extract and Vitamin E. I think almost all of these have uh, Vitamin E Extract in them. And um, the only natural additive in here is Prunus Serulata, Prunus Serulata Flower Extract, which I'm assuming is Cherry Blossom. Uh, again, they they don't translate the Latin for you. But um, this, again, is also available in a family size, 22 and a half ounces. I got this at Walmart. Um, this, I, I was a little bit nervous about trying this, I'll be honest, because I've smelled some cherry blossom fragrances before, like the, the Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works, and that I think has like a little musk in it. It's, it's actually not among my, fa my favorites, even though I, I tend to like that kind of smell. I thought it was a little too sweet, so I was wondering if this was going to smell like that, and um, it doesn't really. It's uh, a very fresh floral, it's very slightly sweet. Typical fresh floral scents aren't really my cup of tea. It has just a hint of sweetness in it, and it's very light. I love the smell that it left on my hair. Uh, again, didn't make me feel sick or anything. Um, good slip. Again, this wasn't chunky coming out of the bottle or anything. Um, and that's, that's really it. I very much liked this one. The next one I have here is the Ocean Breeze, and this one contains algae extract. Sea algae extract and vitamin E. Now, I did a little... Um, a little bit of internet searching trying to figure out what algae extract can do for your hair and apparently it's just a source of vitamins and minerals so that um, I wasn't sure if it was a source of protein or, or something and uh, apparently it's not it's just for the the minerals in it so this ingredient shouldn't be problematic and it also has vitamin E in it again which is great for your hair and the only plant additive is algae extract and this one, I wasn't really sure about the fragrance either when I was going to try it um, because these kind of fresh type fragrances, again, aren't really in my cup of tea, but I didn't mind it at all. Um, it smells clean, 
Um, it's not what I would call sweet. Is there any curly guys you know who don't want a really girly smelling product? This would probably be a good one to go for. And this again had a nice slip. I think this one actually I remember having very nice slip. So um, again, it's a family size, 22 and a half ounces, should last you quite a while. And this is one of the fragrances that you can find in a lot of different places. It's one of the very common ones, I think. So it shouldn't be difficult to find. This is Ocean Breeze. The last one that I have to share with you is Lavender Lilac. Um, unfortunately, right, well, right off the bat I'll mention this, this is one fragrance that I have not seen in a family size, I don't think. This is only 15 fluid ounces, so it's not going to last you as long. This one I was also a bit apprehensive about trying because um, lavender can be a very strong smell. It's pleasant, but it's also kind of pungent, and lilac can also be kind of heavy and cloying sometimes. And I was, again, very pleasantly surprised. It's, um, it's not strong at all. It's not overly pungent or overly sweet. I think there's a very nice um, balance in the smell. If you know what lavender and lilac both smell like, it's wonderful, frankly. I think it's quite pleasant. Um, it is infused with lavender extract and vitamin E. Bonus about lavender, it's very relaxing. So if you're a night showerer before you go to bed, this can help relax you and help you fall asleep, maybe. And let's see, what do we have in here for plant additives? Passiflora Yedulis flower extract, mentha pepperita peppermint leaf extract. This one does have the common name in parentheses, so there's peppermint in here. Rose extract, uh, rose canina, and then um, lavandula. Eh, I'm not going to try that. Lavender extract. So it seems like there isn't actually any lilac in here unless it's maybe the first one that I mentioned again I will look these up for you and see if I can get, find the common name. This one wasn't chunky coming out of the bottle and again the scent was not overpowering. The only downside that I can think of is that I haven't found it in the bigger bottle. I don't think I have anyway so that could be uh, a drawback because you're going to go through it more quickly but scent wise this was another one of my favorites. This is they call it soothing lavender lilac. And those are all the conditioners that I have to share with you today. I have another batch that I am working through. Uh, there are about, I think, 12 other, 12 varieties besides the coconut. I have six here today, and we'll be doing uh, six more in a later video. So I can talk to you about my experiences using those as well. But that is it for now. I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and I guess I will see you guys next time.